Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. FAMU band percussionist Caleb Jackson got his first appearance before a judge Thursday. Judge Ronald Flurry was prepared to release Jackson on a $15,000 bond. I can't make that bond, sir. But that evaporated when the judge learned that Jackson was on probation for a felony battery charge. First, I'm going to go ahead and violate your probation. You'll be held without bond. The denial of bond brought tears to Jackson's fiance. And without him being able to work, my bills aren't being paid. I need him home. Students are on break right now, but when they return on Monday for the summer semester, the future of the band will still be up in the air. That's because there's still two investigations going on. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement put questions about the band's finances and per diem payments on hold while the criminal case was being investigated. And the Board of Governors, which is investigating how FAMU administrators handled the hazing death, got a final packet of documents in mid-April. Governor Rick Scott also said it was too soon for the band to be back on stage. We ought to finish and make sure that um, there's not going to be anything like this happen again. I don't think we're in that position yet. Um, you know, it's, the band's got a great history, uh, but we can't afford to have lose another individual like Robert Champion. Scott also said that when the time was right, he was willing to participate in settlement talks with drum major Robert Champion's family. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.